Rule your mind or it will rule you. Buddha said it once. Same goes to our emotions as our mind always tries to control us throwing different emotions and if you are not aware of it it takes over your life. That literally means you lose control over your life. So here is a Japanese technique called Morita therapy that helps you to rule over it by accepting your emotions without trying to control them. In this video I'll tell you what on earth Morita therapy is, how it will help you to tame your mind and how you can apply it practically to win at life. Dr. Shoma Morita invented this technique in Tokyo many years ago influenced by the Zen teachings that proved to help many people like us to live a peaceful life undisturbed by the millions of emotions of our mind just like a Zen monk. To understand this concept in a simple way, let's try to grasp its basic idea with a simple fable. A donkey that is tied to a post by a rope will keep walking around the post in an attempt to free itself, only to become more immobilized and attached to the post. Same thing applies to you. With obsessive thinking, you become more trapped when you try to escape from all the fears and discomforts you have. Yes, that means your mind is like a wild horse. The more you try to tame it, the more it becomes fierce. So to deal with it, Morita had applied three basic principles to some people and it changed their life drastically. These principles are accept your feelings, know your purpose and do what needs to be done. Let's come to the first point first. Accept your feelings. It means you should not judge your feelings. You should not think why your thoughts or emotions are disturbing you. Just observe them. As the Zen monks say, if you overcome one wave after another, you will reach to a deep and calm sea. Here you can apply the rule of the monk, Tik Nath Ha, like saying to your emotions or thoughts, Hi emotions, it can be emotions that you are experiencing. How are you today? Let's sit beside me. I will look after you. The second one is know your purpose. Without a goal, you can't score. Said by Casey Neistat. This is so true. A purpose in your life is so important because it overpowers your emotion. Keep your focus to the goal you want to achieve. What you can do right now to achieve your purpose. If we are responsible about it, then it will give you power to have authority to your emotions. And the last one is do what needs to be done. Do not worry how to get rid of the signs of not influenced by the emotions. Instead of that, pay attention to the present moment. Learn from the mistakes and keep on making different findings with various experience you have. So keep on mind these three valuable principles. I'm repeating this again for you. Accept your feelings, know your purpose and do what needs to be done. Now, you might say, Madhati, it's okay, but how can I be consistent in applying these principles every day in my life? So, to implement this in your everyday life, here are some things that you can do. Number 1. Be mindful. Just observe the strong and not so strong emotions that are coming in your mind and repeat it. Number 2. Start writing journal. Dump everything that is coming in your mind. Don't worry about the writing style. You are not writing a college thesis. Number 3. Do some physical movement every day like walking in the parks, doing exercises or even taking pottery classes. And most importantly, do meditation. Hope this will help somehow. This channel is all about self growth and spirituality. So share this video with at least one of your friends so we can grow this community with the like-minded people like you. Join this channel by clicking that red subscribing button there. And if you click that, a cute little bell will appear. Click that too, so that you can get all the notification when I post a video just like a message. Till then, I'll leave you with this.